every month lazima nito, nipigwe ni mwage damu na nitoke kwetu niende kwetu na kule kwenu unaenda wazazi hawana nguvu umesikia hiyo hichi eh au mm. sana sana hata bwanangu ndiye anawa support hawana nguvu kwa hivyo unaenda wanakuambia lusi rudi tu sasa ilikuwa inanibidi tu nisiende kwetu ni niende milimani maombi mimi hakuna mlima Kenya si hainijui karuda eh? katoroni gong fasting seven days mimi sikuku sijui ni dini nilikula mkikula christmas hata ulikuwa nasikia hey. sasa hiyo familia <laughs> kila kitu na wakati wake Praise the name of the Lord. It's gorgeous woman show and I know you are excited as I am excited uh, to bring to you wonderful stories, inspiring stories. And uh, every uh, Sunday evening, I always look forward to hearing the stories because every time you listen to them, there is a way you feel inspired, you feel energized. And uh, as always, I have a great guest with me that has gone through a journey of domestic violence, has gone through infidelity, has gone through torture in ways that you cannot even fathom. And uh, we are going to hear her story. Her name is a pastor now. She is a pastor now. Amen. Pastor Lucy Wairimo. Because out of her pain, God has made out something nice. Hallelujah. She inspires women. And uh, she will be our guest today. So, karibu sana, pastor. Amen. Amen. So, tuambie kwa kifupi, who is pastor Lucy Wairimo? Where do you come from? Yeah. Uh, where are you now? Okay. Yeah. My name is uh, Lucy Wairimo. Mm -hmm. Pastor Lucy Wairimo. Mm -hmm. Uh, I come from Mulanga County. Mm -hmm. Nimezaliwa nikuwa wa Saba mm -hmm. that time. Okay. Okay. Uh, na nikakuja. Mm -hmm. From there nikakuja. I, I was to, to st I used to stay with my dad mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. After kumaliza shule nikakuja Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And that's how nilianzia maisha. Okay. Nikaokoka nikiwa kastana kadogo. Mm -hmm. Naona tu hujui chochote. Yeah. Umejikuta kwa wokofu. Mm -hmm. That's how I got saved. Mm -hmm. But sijui kama ni kuokoka ama ni nini. Nikafuatana na, na, na groups ya, ya watu. Hujui kama ni wokofu. So, so, ile mambo tu. But literally, diyo nika, nika kutana na kijana. Okay. He was not saved. Okay. So mm. tell me about to kabla tujafika hapo. Because yeah. that is a core of your yeah. story. Yeah. Utuambia kidogo ulizaliwa family yako ilikuwa aje baba mama and nimesikia ukisema ati ulikishi na baba yako Nairobi yes. why was that okay. where was your mom nilizaliwa mm. and okay my mom mm -hmm. tulizaliwa tukiwa tamba mm -hmm. so my, my dad ni yule tu mtoto unazaliwa wa wazazi wa, wako yani my mom was nyumbani lakini tukimaliza shule tulikuwa tunakaa town sana mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunakuja tunakaa na babangu huko na kwa baba yako alikuwa anafanya e, kazi alifanya kazi hapa kazi hapa sha ulimoyo tulikuwa tunakaa na yeye sana mm -hmm. nikimaliza shule ni vile tu sijui alikuwa ananipenda Mm -hmm. But I remember he told my mom, mm -hmm. Mimi uzipo za mto, yani mtoto wa msichana, my mother. I, I am called after my mother. Mm -hmm. uh, mzazi wa mamangu. Eh? Mm -hmm. So alimpenda sana. Akazema mm -hmm. lazima nizaliwe. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hile upendo walikuwa nayo na mimi. Ilikuwa mm -hmm. extreme. Wow. Ata alikuwa nasema, au wengine, um, wanasemanga, wanasikia wivu za babu, wanachapo mimi sijai pigwa. Ah, Utoka nikiwa kastana kadogo. It must have been nice. Yeah, hajawe yeah. nipiga, alikuwa na nipenda. Kwa hivyo kila kitu nilikuwa mm -hmm. naona. Sasa nikazaliwa na ile familia, watu, wazazu wanapendana. Mm -hmm. My mom, ayani na my mom na my dad, walipendana kiwango, baka unadima ya familia. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na... So far, Saiha, Saiha yuko, mm -hmm. Ali, walipumuzika wato wawili, wato wawili, wato wawili. Mm -hmm. lakini ata watu wailia mm -hmm. kwe tunyumbani watu wote walikuwa na zema. Iyu pendo wao, ata waki, moja wakikufa, huu mgini hakuka, hata ka, na review defeat, edi kuwa. Nani ya liaga kwanza? My dad. Mm -hmm. Last year, okay, last year but one, mm -hmm. diyo uh, my dad akakufa, mm -hmm. literally last year, uh, this year. Mm -hmm. 
this year February ndio mama akakufa walikuwa wagonjwa ama ile no ni mzee mimi nilizaliwa i think my my mama akinizali kuwa 50 something ah yes Wow, so walikuwa so, auto body yako unaona yeah. unadhaliwa una hao wakubwa wanajua hii. Sisi hata tunadhaliwa na my sister yule kwa nyuma yetu hatujui hata miaka. Ah. Unaona because of illiteracy yao yeah. wazee hata hujui ya. Mm-hmm. Ujui hata miaka yako. Mm-hmm. Wewe unakuwa tu na eh, neighbors unaenda unaandikisha ID nini nini mm-hmm. but kuna siku nilichukua ka, karatasi nikaona mm-hmm. kameandikwa 11 June na nirusi. Uh-huh. Ili nisaidia sababu oh, sasa najua ni kufix tu hii eh, lakini mwaka na, na fix ma, wale marafiki tulikuwa na wao oh. so i don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad loved me alikuwa mzee uh, hata i wish alikuwa at what age alikuwa 96 alikufa na 96 96 yes 96 wow what a na nile tu tunagesa alikuwa tu, uh, watu wengine wanasema anga alifikia 100 uh-huh. yeah because alikuwa mzee kabisa alikuwa mzee kabisa so mama alipoachwa peke yake naye hakukaa alikuwa What? nampenda sana. Mm. Walikuwa napendana ni ile tu even watu wale wanani, wananiangalia wa nyumbani watasema ni ukweli. Yaani ni yule tu na admire ile familia. Hujaiona mama yako akichapo. Oh. Hujaiona wakikosana ati ile mama atalala nje. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What a background. I love the way Pastor Lucy is glowing and her heart is excited Amen. when she talks about her parents. So yeah. don't touch that dial as you listen to the rest of the story. So welcome back our viewer as I'd uh, given you a brief before is a story of domestic violence infidelity I think every brutality that a woman can go through this lady gorgeous lady seated just next to me has gone through it all Amen. so pastor yes. sasa now after having come come from a background yenye baba na mama wanapendana till death yeah you had high hopes yes about marriage yes. high hopes about your life yes. uh, before we get to marriage what yes. did you do uh, after you completed high school yeah. did you get a job did you get a career did you go to college what happened and transpired before you got married okay sikuweza kwenda college mm-hmm. okay my background hatukuwa ile wako na wako na pesa mm-hmm. so that's why my dad was encouraging us oh. nilikuja kukana my sister alikuwa anakuja huku nikikuja kwa dad unajua my sister yangu ni wakubwa sasa eh. sasa nikikuja kwa dad na kuja mm-hmm. kwa my sister akanipeleka college ya kushona nguo mm-hmm. sasa lakini haikuwa sana mm-hmm. so hapo ndio nika my sister after one year kukana yeye akakufa Oh, she passed away. God. What That's happened? Ata alimwa tu na tumbo sijui what happened. It was 90 likitambo. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So aliniachia mtoto akaniambia alikuwa na mtoto kasiana akaniambia Lucy wewe ndio utakutalea huyu mtoto. Na sasa hiyo mtoto wako na wania. Una shida utafanya nini? Sasa sababu mimi bado nilikuwa katoto kasiana kadogo nikamrudisha nitokaenda na mtoto kwa mamangu nikamrudisha kwa mamangu nyumbani and that's why how uh, nikarudi Nairobi ile kifo ya my sister it didn't touch sana sababu niliona ile mambo alipitia alikuwa na umwa na tumbo mara hujui nani 3 days only unfortunately kenyata ilikuwa imegoma those at that time kwa hivyo tukimpeleka hospitali tunamrudisha 3 days akapas so hiyo ili nitach sana nikaamua nitaokoka na sijui wokofu ni nini familia yetu hakuna mtu ashaiokoka kwa hivyo mimi mwenyewe ndiye ninangangana na hii mambo nitienda kanisani i used to read uh, stars unaona hii stars hizo kitabu mm, yeah. mm. nikasoma ikaniambia today you are going to meet with this, with a man that will uh, that will change your life so hata sikujua nikaenda kanisani <laughs> nikasikia si toki ku lazima niokoke that's how i got saved nikiwa kastana katoko nikaanza kufuatana na na wokofu wangu kwenda ma fellowship nini but all of a sudden unakutana na tukapatana na youth wengine hiyo estate tulikuwa tunakaa hapa shauri moyo hawajaokoka kwa hivyo ukasahau ile mambo ya fellowship mm-hmm. na nini yeah that's how i got mm-hmm. I, i met a man mm-hmm. a very young man alikuwa nafanya kazi kwa muhindi driver he, very, he was very young and i was still very young mm-hmm. sasa ukituona ni sisi ni teenagers toto wawili 
tunataka tukutane babangu anakataa yeye anakaa kwao na mimi nakaa kwetu babangu anakataa mama yake anakataa sababu si ni watoto bado tunaonekana watoto so we decided to stay together mm. tukakomboa kanyumba <laughs> Ulikata kamba ukasema you depend on too much by the way i loved the man mm-hmm. do you know that i can't imagine hata mm-hmm. sahi sijui kama nishaipenda mtu hivyo hata hapo beleni sikuwa na hizo magration unajua nilikuwa nimeokoka kwa hivyo sikuwa najua but the raft i loved that guy mm-hmm. i cannot imagine mm-hmm. so we decided we have to stay together na sasa hiyo nilikuwa nafanya nimeacha kazi yani ninafanya kazi ya boutique kulikuwa na bahari nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya boutique mm. sasa hiyo ninapata pesa nzuri na yeye sasa anafanya kazi ya impatie pesa nzuri mimi je namsaidia sasa wa eh yeah? mm-hmm. unakuja unaona hata hana troza nzuri unakuja unambaia sababu you have to support your man you love him mm-hmm. ile upendo hata ukifikiri kitu kingine mm-hmm. babangu hakuwa nataka sababu anaona bado mimi ni mtoto mdogo so alimfahamu ya alijua akachukua mm-hmm. panga siku moja akamkimbiza mhm akamwambia uachana mtoto wangu sababu nataka kuniharibia mtoto nikamwambia babangu usipo kubali niolewe na huyu eh mimi nitajiua wow yes i loved that man mm-hmm. so baba akakubali tu shingo upande ha na, uh, akaniita alikuwa na unasikia vile analikuwa ananipenda sasa mm-hmm. angetii tu kaniita kaniambia unatakaje nikamwambia huyu kijana hana shida na umuite uongee na yeye So sasa ile kijana alikuwa mpole hapo na maneno akakuja wakaongea. Akamwambia mimi sina shida, I want to stay with Lucy. Na sasa hiyo anamwambia hivyo hata yeye ile kazi analipo 1000 per month. Wow. Na kini babangu akampenda tu akasema huyu ni kama wale vijana wangu. Mm-hmm. So he decided akamwambia wewe ukiwa unataka kumuona unanikuja hapa. Huku sasa kwa my dad mnakaa tu na yeye unatulia alafu mnaenda ninajua tu mko na yeye. Ifo ndivyo tukaona the life is hard kushidanga tuki mara mara animeenda na yeye animeenda tukaona afadhali tukomboe kanyumba yetu. Tukatafuta kanyumba ka 1500 kama bati. Kalikuwa kanapita kana siwe jidani. Tukaanza maisha. Tukakaa na no, wazazi wali approve ama ulijificha my dad my dad love the guy hakuwa na shida mm-hmm. sasa alimwambia tu badala mshidange mkizunguka kaini saida tuliamua kukaa wow. na sasa hiyo unajua mimi ndio niko na kasi kwa hivyo nimenunua tu vitu tudogo eh na yeye ametoka kwao na mimi nimetoka kwetu sasa tuanzie maisha Nyumba, yani, nyumba inate, sibe jinatembea hey, katika upendo iko juu. Waache nikwambie mavata fiki zangu sababu sasa wale walinifanya tu nisahau ni wokovu walikuja wakasema haya Lucy, hii ni kuolewa ama ni nambia mimi am okay. I didn't see anything no. I was okay. The house is okay. The ha- the love. <laughs> the love I have with this man was more than the yes, house. Yes. Yeah. I could not see anything else. And I was admiring the marriages of my mom and my dad. They are doing good. So I was thinking it is work. It will work. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I was going on, eh, nawaambia mimi niko sawa. So tukaendelea nikapata first born. Mm. My dad kanyumba baada hiyo kanyumba tu my dad akamtafutia kazi unajua anampenda mpaka my brothers zangu sasa wanaanza kuuliza kwa nini unajua sasa baba ananipenda lazima angependa ule amempenda ye akampenda akamtafutia kazi Kenya cold storage akafanya kazi sasa mshahara kaingia nikapata first born baada ya kupata first born sasa tukahamia umoja nikapata second born tuko one bedroom sasa maisha imeanza kukuwa mzuri lakini tukiwa hapo kuna it's a, it's, a, it's not ba, good but kuna my step brother alikuja akaniambia i want to uh, nataka unipeleke pahali won eh, nataka kuona mama anaitwa Mary kuber kuna nampeleka ni kwa my mom in law my mother was single na hakuwa na shida baada kuolewa hata hakuwa na shida lakini kutoka huyo kijana akuje kwake mimi sijui vile alimwambia wacha nikwambie pasta life ikaanza kuwa bwanangu anapewa maneno kumbe yule anaenda anapeana maneno huyo ameanza kugeuka tumeanza kuchange kuwa na complication nikiwa na mimba ya first born na kubuka kuna siku nilikongwa nika faint na yeye na bwanangu sasa mhm vita imeanza kuingia 
sasa nikajiuliza ni nini sasa hapo Mungu akanikumbusha unajua uliingia huku kabla hujaniambia nikaanza sasa kuanza kuomba nikaanza kuomba sababu nimeona giza marriage ime, imeanza kuwa ngumu hmm? anakugonga alafu anajirudia unaona hata anafikiria ni nini amefanya haelewi yule kijana na kijana ni friend yake yule kijana ni my step brother eh. amekuja kwa my mom ni kama marafiki sasa wow eh huyo mm. he ile mambo anampatia mimi sijui na ile sasa bwana wangu anakuja na uh, ya, ya, anakuja tu na hazira akitoka kwao unashindwa what na madhi nikiongea nikienda kwake hata hana shida hata hajai nionyesha by the way all today hajai niambia wewe ni ile one on one hajai niambia wewe ni mbaya lakini ile maneno nilipitia from that time ni ngumu kupigwa kula la ije kuna siku neighbor wasichana neighbor walikuja kwa nyumba yangu akaniambia ah una shida ngo kitulingia na sisi bwana wako akienda anapita kwetu sasa ile hazira mimi tukaletana na wale wasichana chu nilikuja nikapigwa na stool unaona hizi mm. eh sasa ule kijana bwanangu ameanza kuambiwa wachana na hii marriage haita work oh. ameanza kuambiwa mimi sijui eh sijui huyu my step brother kuna yale maneno anaambianga anaambiana sababu hatuelewani kinyumbani oh. sasa unaona mm. sasa bwanangu akaanza ku change Aki, an, unaona anajirudia anakupiga anajirudia unafanywa vitu kwa ninarudi kwetu mama babangu ananiambia anakuja na muita anamuongeresha tunaongeresha tunarudi ukiendo kwa madhaini leo hata haongei hata hana shughuli yani ni ile tu hana shughuli unashindwa what so nikaanza kwenda maombi nikaenda karu, uh, karura nikaenda na mtoto wangu sasa hiyo nakumbuka siku nimevzaa second born nika nikaenda karura na nika fast seven days nikakuja kwa kukuja after one week nikaitiwa chama hii maombi wachana nayo mpaka babangu akasupport lucy kio nataka familia uachane na hizi maombi lakini bwanangu anataka anaona sasa kumekuwa ngumu tunaenda uhuru park maombi kila pahali yani ma, mahubiri tukisikia sasa yeye ameokoka sasa tumeanza kufuatana lakini marriage hai work hai work na mlikuwa mnakosania nini hata hakuna hauelewi na kuambia tunaweza kaa hivi hata usikie from nowhere mmeanza makerele si yeti si hata utasema ati ni, ni chumvi hujaweka chakula hmm. ni nyumba tu mwekua anaweza kukua kwa from nothing ukirudisha ama uongee chochote unapigwa unapigwa hey mi mala ile nimelala ile na sitoki unajua ni I, i know and i knew it can work marriage according to you ile expectation ulikuwa nayo ya marriage ni marriage ni mzuri yes. kutoka kwa wazazi wake sija, by the way hmm. si kuwa ninafikiria ati mwanamke anaweza toka kwake akuwe mwanamke mzuri si kuwa nafikiria kitu kama hiyo ama ukuwe mweokoka so i knew i would pursue i would pray for my husband was he drinking no oh. even now he don't drink wow the man was na sasa tukaanza kubarikiwa amepata kazi zingine mm-hmm. pesa zimeingia pesa zimeingia nyingi yani maisha imekuwa sawa lakini is not working kwa pro tunapigwa watu wote wanakuja kusikiza akitoka kazi apige simu maybe by mistake hujasikia kwa nini simu ilikuwa off kwa nini ulikuwa huko unasikia simu unajaribu kuongea he 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 dakika moja amechukua amekumwagilia chakula wow yes eh na ni kitu anafanya baadaye unaona anajirudia so <laughs> ile kilinistua saidi ni vile so after ma, ma, kuna time my mother in law alikumbuja umoja huko mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunakaa mm-hmm. i was so happy ni unajua nime nimeumbwa na kupenda watu mm-hmm. siju tujuangi ile kiglaja na ama kiroho mbaya mm-hmm. so nilimfurahia nilimpenda mm-hmm. so akakuja okay akaona kule tulikuwa tunakaa nikampikia but later mimi naona tu huyu mama hata akisema huko inge alikuwa anasema mimi mimi sijui kwa nini sipendi huyu msichana. Wow. Yes. Hata kuambia direct. Hata nikienda kwake hata saa hii 
hata niambia direct lakini huko nje unasikia watu wakisema lakini siku ana shida hata sijai muona muonyesha attitude aka aka retire pale alikuwa anafanya kazi akajenga nyumba juja so akijenga nyumba juja akajenge akasema lazima ajengee huyu kijana wake his dad born dad born in the family but ile uh, attach nao alikuwa nayo na mamake ni kama ile ulikuwa yes. na attachment ya baba yako kabisa mm -hmm. so unajua yeye eh, alikuwa nakaa kwao na mimi nakaa kwetu tulitoka kwao alitoka kwao na mimi nikatoka kwetu kaanzia maisha mm -hmm. sasa mamake amesema atamjengea lakini alisema sasa si ile ananiambia mm -hmm. naambiwa na one neighbors ama bwanangu saide mko na amani anakuambia na <laughs> yeye amesema sio lazima ukuje uko nikamuliza kwa nini now my children are doing good first born ana, ana perform vizuri uko Comorock Junior maisha imekuwa mzuri although tunapigana lakini sasa watoto wameanza kukua vizuri the environment imekuwa poa ana perform the whole school nilikuwa naitwa sababu hiyo hiyo first born vile anafanya so nikauliza kwa nini anatujengea juja si angetuambia at least utafute pahali petu tu, tukae pamoja eh sababu hakuna haja ya kumfuata pahali anajenga ni 500 meter from here yani ni pahali mtakuwa mkikutana na unajua huyu mama hakupendi hakupendi sasa i love my husband i love marriage i don't know how to quit i nikamwambia tu ataende ajenge akimaliza sisi tutaenda na sasa ile alimaliza ni mimi nilienda hakunionyesha vibaya lakini wa mama huko ndio alikuwa na, wananiambia he huko umekuja huyu mama anasema anga hapana lakini si kustuka nikajaribu juu chini kumpenda tu unajaribu kujisukuma unaona tu eh hey, attitude zake haziko hapo sasa hiyo maisha ya juja ndio inakakuwa ngumu my sister utapoza hapo and yeah. then twendelee our viewers that's the brief story we are just beginning the story of domestic violence see you after the break So welcome back our viewer. My guest is Pastor Lucy Wairimo. She's sharing with us the story of domestic violence. You'll be shocked. It lasted 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hear from her. So mukahamia Juja. Ya tukahamia Juja. Eh. Ah, sasa ile nyumba haiko imemalizika. Mhm. Unaona umetoka tao eh, one bedroom pahali pa poa na three tao ile marriage baada ya bwanangu kuokoka ikaanza kama imetulia kitogo lakini bado kulikuwa tunafita. Mhm. Sasa ile juja nyumba imejaa fubie ni ile haijamalizwa vizuri. Ha? Watoto? Ha. Watoto sasa ni kuanza maisha yengine. Lakini I loved my husband. Mm -hmm. I love marriage. Eh? Sijui kutoka ni nini. Sisi tukakaa. Sasa kijana mwanangu ndiye huyo kwa mamake anakuja saa nne usiku. Hakuna story mnaongea. Unaona tu attitude na unanyamazia tu una manyamazia tukaendelea lakini siku moja siku moja kile kilinistua sana kuna siku alitoka kwa mamake akaniambia nataka upike chapo na ni saa usiku na watoto kesho wataenda shule na ile shule sasa wameanza wameanzia ni maisha ngumu eh ni pahali ya Yaani hata huwezi imagine. Na mbona wangu ukijaribu kumwambia hakuna saa hii hata hakuna kitu anasikia. Na my mother angekubali kumpatia hata pahali ya kunini. Lakini ile drive miss juu. Akaniambia lazima upikie mama mstapo. Nikamwambia saa hii usiku. Mama yake. Eh. Yeah. Nikamwambia saa hii usiku nitapikaje. Akaniambia usipopika leo utaniona. Nikamwambia kesho ni shule watoto wataamka mapema waende shule nitaweza si nakwambia alichukua stool eh nilingongwa hapa naona damu ikaja kwa mwili watoto wangu wananiangalia tu helplessly sawa wako how old uh, i think walikuwa 7 years wow. ako kingine kako 6 wameachana na mwaka na nusu first born na second wakaniambia oh. wakaja kukulia mimi nikatoka nje ya gate ha madhi akaitwa akasema akamwambia sasa kwa nini unafanya hivi nikamuuliza mama 
kama ni mtoto wako amefanywa hivi hivi unaongea hivi unaweza kuongea unge ungekuwa naongea hakuongea anyamaza tu hajai nirudishia ama kunitukana mimi so i went uh, kwa neba uh, kwa auntie yake ako hapo tu karibu tulikuwa tunakaa ile moja zote my sister yake auntie yake mama yake kwa hivyo tuko ile moja kile kingine nilipitia ni rejection hiyo familia yote ikanichukia sasa sijui from nowhere hakuna mtu anakujanga kwangu hakuna vile umewafanyia nilienda kwa auntie yake nikalala ile damu wakaniweka waka, waka elastoplast pasta mwingine alikuwa anaitwa pasta ruzi akakuja kanitafutia elastoplast hakuna hospitali ni usiku next day nikasema mimi sitakaa huko niko peke yangu sasa nikaenda kukaa kayo nikaacha watoto nikaenda kayole sasa watoto nilikuwa na msichana wa kazi nikaenda kayole sababu sitaki kurudi kwanza sijapona na lazima bado vita iendelee nikaenda kayole kwa my friend next day alikuja na mtoto first born until today siwezi nikakuambia kwa nini aliacha second born akaniletea first born kuniletea first born so nikilala hivi nikahizi tu hii nyumba ya my friend imeshikana na building na iko na transformer nikauliza vile tu unazafikiria nikasema na hii transformer inaweza ilipuka anytime eh ina ikilipuka kunaweza kuwa aje na kuambia haikumaliza 5 minutes kufikiria tu hivyo okay kuna kitu nimesahau kuna sana nilikuwa nasikia hii jicho ya, ya this side inakuja kio yako kikuyu tunaitanga mm. kio ya ikinikuja lazima ni kwangu na nimwage damu wow. i don't know why so ile kio ya baada kumwaga hiyo damu nikaenda nikafikia ile kitu sasa ile mtoto alidetwa nikafikiria hiyo mambo ya transformer haikumaliza 10 minutes nini ikalipuka kuba ni mtoto wangu alishika na, na transformer akaguza nini na waya hii tugari toa waya tutakucheza tuna, na watoto akaenda akaguza akalipuka huyo mtoto akaanguka ayuko ha, haituko juu ya gorofa watu wote wakakuja kama mkutano ya moi kuangalia ni nini sababu wanajua kuna mtu ameguza na wakajua hayuko hai kuangalia Nika, nikasema god this is my child na hakuna mtu aliniambia nika sense nikakuja hey, mama kim ni kim he na sababu nilikuwa very strong sasa sasa hiyo maombi nimeingiza kwa, kwa fasting sana mm. nilitoka nikaangalia nikaona mtoto wangu hayuko hakuna moto imeingilia hapa imetokea hapa kwa hivyo mpaka guzi zimechomeka mtoto mkono wetu imechomeka na hapumui my sister i cried to god i cried like a small yani nikajaribu nika kutaja zile promises mungu ametupromise hii dunia yote nikalia hakuamuka nikaenda inche, eh, chini ya stea nini kulikuwa ka hospitali hapo chini nikaenda nikaenda daktari akamchukua sasa ndio nilimwekelea mkono nikaanza ku proclaim the blood of uh, ku decree the blood of Jesus uh, nikaanza ku fight na every negative spirit mtoto wangu akaamuka wow Mm-hmm. the first thing ile yamuka alikuwa watoto wangu wanampenda wanapenda babake kanuza kwa happy dad na yeye alimleta nikamwambia atakuja <laughs> tukampigia simu the time dad alifika akakuja na gari kuona mtoto alimiuliza baba <laughs> alisema sasa mamangu atasema nini that's what it is to alikuwa amechomeka mtoto amechomeka kabisa sasa tumechukuliwa tumepelekwa Agakani Hospital. Amechomeka kabisa mpaka sasa hivi vidole zake ziko hivi. Tukapelekwa hospitali ya Agakani. <laughs> Ile rejection unapitia hakuna mtu anakuja kukuona hiyo familia. Unasikia tu story. Mimi kile ulifanyia hii familia hata huwezi elewa. Eh? So mimi nikakaa two weeks lakini nilikuwa nalia kama mtoto nikiwa hospitali. Eh? Na ulisa, kwa nini Mungu? Yaani ile mambo unapitia kwa nyumba, uko na bandage hapa, umeshonwa, huyu mtoto na yeye ako na uh, nini? Anaenda dieta through out sababu hiyo fidore imechomeka. Unalia uko peke yako uko hapo hospitali, yani kuwa nakuja tu kuniangalia. After two weeks utarudi ile nyumba. Yeye yeah, uh, yani unajua alikuwa amekuwa covered na hiyo hospital. Tunarudi ile nyumba, hakuna pahali tutaenda. Sasa ni mashida ingine haitafanya 
hakuna amani eh ule mtoto mwingine unajua <laughs> yule medi ulikuwa ameacha kwa nyumba amechukua vitu zote akatoroka nazo zote kwa hivyo nianzie maisha ingine. hakuna mtu wa kukuangalia mtoto kwa nyumba alitoroka na vitu za nyumba vitu zangu za nguo zangu zote zote sasa ni kuanzia maisha ingine. unafumilia unapitukanwa unapihwa lakini kile kizuri huyo bwanangu naweza sema alikuwa ananisaidia chakula hatujai kosa ameni support mpaka shule nimerudishwa shule alikuwa ni support unajua saa hiyo sasa pesa zimeanza kuingia tumeanza kupata magari tukajenga plot next eh, tulikuwa tumeshikana na plot plot ibidi tukajenga za ngorofa nyumba yani pesa zimeanza kuingia kabisa lakini there is no peace i don't know the peace of marriage mimi sijui na kuanga aje sababu tulikuwa tunakaa one week tukikaa vizuri ile development tutajenga watu wanasikia vivu one week ama one month tukiongea tukikaa tukika story mzuri eh life inakuwa mzuri sana mna enjoy kila kitu lakini after that every month lazima nipigwe ni mwage damu na nitoke kwetu niende kwetu na kule kwenu unaenda wazazi hawana nguvu umesikia hiyo hichi eh au mm. sana sana hata bwanangu ndiye anawa support hawana nguvu kwa hivyo unaenda wanakuambia lusi rudi tu sasa ilikuwa inanibidi tu nisiende kwetu nini niende milimani maombi mimi hakuna mlima Kenya si hainijui karuda eh katoroni gong fasting of 7 days misi kukusi juu ni dini nilikula mkikula christmas hata ulikuwa nasikia eh hey. sasa hiyo familia <laughs> kila kitu na wakati wake hawa watu wa maombi wacha waombe tu mimi sijui kukula kukula siku sababu i know my marriage will work i want to pray for my husband i want my children to know there, there is a good in marriage eh? there is hope but hanko inafanya haiko inafanya sasa una sasa ingine anakuja msichana wa kazi unapikwa bere wa msichana wa kazi anakupiga ile fita mpaka una make sure umeanguka na sasa hiyo anakupiga akikuita majina msichana wa kazi anashiriki atafanya nini next day msichana wa kazi ukimwambia kitu hata hata kusikia ni kweli hata kusikia anashiriki unafanya nini kwa hivyo hiyo ni rejection mpaka ya msichana wa kazi na watoto wako wakati huu wako waje hawakukwambia mama mtotoke huko sasa watoto wangu unajua tu ni sutu dogo mm. sasa ile fita ilikuwa ngumu sana nika niliambia nili Mungu alinipatia hekima tu nikamwambia the best thing sababu naonanga watoto sasa wakisikia gate babake akiingia aking, aking, tu kwa gate apige tu hono kila kitu lazima tu wareji kila kitu eh sijui nini sijui nini kila kitu ikiwe in order sababu akiingia ni fita anaweza ingia from nowhere achukue maji ya muamuagilia ya kongesa chakula kwa ukuta sijui mmefanya nini sijui nimepiga honi hamkukuja haraka sasa watoto nikaona wako tormented so nikamwambia let wacha tupelekea watoto boarding at least dio wajijue eh waweze mimi ni ni hekima yangu ni nisaidie hivyo waweze kuweza kujifuria nguo sababu sasa unaona wasichana vile wanatuteza nini nini lakini ni sababu mimi niliona watoto wanaona kitu kibaya kila saa mama yake akipigwa so aka decide kwa apeleka boarding sasa wako six saa hiyo wakitoka boarding watoto walikuwa wana, wananiambia sisi mimi mama tunaulizanga tunakuja home kufanya nini nauliza kwa nini sasa ni, ni home gani kila saa kuna amani eh na shosho hata let in the solution mimi kuna siku nilipigwa sasa nikatema at least i want my mom at least nijisukume ni, ni, ni kwake anipende nikapigwa nikaenda kwake na sasa hiyo nimepigwa mtoto die amepelekwa amepe bwanangu um, uh, ameenda mtoto kwa msichana ako area huyo msichana huyo mtoto akakuja akaniambia hey mama tumepelekwa pahali fulani but nilikuwa nazisikia fununu nikamuuliza kwa nini kwa nini umepeleka watoto akaniambia nani akwambia ni wili na kuambia nilipigwa nikaenda kulala kwa mother in law kulala huko alilala akipika mtoto amemchukua na unajua si bali anamchukulia kisu msichana wa kazi akaniambia wa ma 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 makini ile akipika mtoto ameonyeshwa usiku huizi amini kijana sasa ni kijana my second born so mimi kurudi akaniuliza kwa nini ulikuwa unasema nini unajua nikutoroka nilikutoroka ulikuwa unasema nini 
na kwa mimi nikajaribu kunyamaza ile kitu ya kioya bado imenikujia nikajua hapa lazima damu imwagike nikanyamaza na kwambia kanitafuta kanitafuta ati kupatikana ile tu ananiuliza na toroka na toroka aligonga ukuta na gumi kio kama hii damu ikamwagika tuka akapumzika yani hakuna ha, hata ongea tena ilikuwa kitu kama hiyo hiyo kitu nikisikia lazima unigongwe ni mwagike damu imwagike kutulie until today i don't know what was that na nini ilikuwa inatukujia so aka akapumzika akarudi nomo kwa hivyo ilikuwa inakuja kitu hajielewi pia mm. tunaanza sasa kuongea story hiyo mambo hiyo amemaliza tukaendelea so siku moja watoto nikaona wamefika uh, siku ya kutahidi because what are the boys yeah ni boys na sasa nimepata hata that boy another boy <laughs> so siku moja alikuja kaniambia unajua madhea alisema hata hutai mzaa mimi hajai niambia bwana my 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 mother in law hajai niambia kitu kama hiyo lakini yeye bwanangu alinambia ama madhea hata alisema hutai mzaa hata hakuna mtu anakupenda kwetu hata zikushuhudika na unajua siku mzaa so watoto wamefika age yako ya kuku watu wazima nikaona hii kanyumba tumejengewa ni kadogo sana ile kukutana na vijana na wametahidi nikamuuliza si tuuze hii nyumba but my idea was at least tutoke hapa twende pahali pengine nione kama hii marriage itawaka na by the way akasema that's a good idea tukajaribu kuile kuuza ile nyumba tulikuwa tunauza 750 haipati mtu wa kununua nikamwambia acha niende maombi et uh, nione i know god will work it nikaenda maombi 7 days Seven days God told me after this seven days count another the seven day I'm going to intervene in your case after seven days Mungu alitumana alituma mama alikuja kanunua ile nyumba badala ya 750 alinunua 1.5 million so I could not believe it but kuna zaile tulikuwa na amani na bwanangu alikuwa ananisikiza mpaka mtu anasikia wivu yes ushaiona mpaka neighbors wale walikuwa na, kabla nitoke watu wale walikuwa natuona wa nje walikuwa nasema wanataka tuwasimamia harusi wow. can you imagine sababu unajua kufichiria bwana hata nikipigwa tu ninajifanya eh kwa hivyo watu walikuwa nataka can you be uh, our best couple kitu kama hiyo naambia mm. nasema wa eh lakini mimi nakataa nakwambia no no hatuna hizo pesa ama sina hizo lakini najua kile napitianga siwezi enda kuwa best cup ya mtu mm-hmm. siku moja nitapigwa mkiwa hapo nikikuwafanyia counseling eh wow. so nikakataa so the time to tukakuwa na uh, tuko na amani unaona the marriage marriage is well, doing well yeah tukahama ah mm-hmm. uh-uh, ah that time nikamwambia what you are going to do don't tell anybody tumeiza hii tumeuza hii nyumba sababu mimi nilikuwa najua ile vita napitianga akienda aseme na ile mama nyumba ilikuwa imejagwa na nani na mama hey, na madhaini huyo na imagine kutakuwaje nikamwambia na yeye akanisikiza akaenda aka, alikuwa na, ananipenda kipengo kingine sasa ile tuko na amani hey, mpaka watu wanasikia wivu akaenda akanunua plot sasa like 2 kilometers lakini mimi nilikuwa nataka tuende bali zaidi lakini nikasema acha akaenda akanunua plot tukajenga mansion it nyumba ya ngorofa Haikuisha lakini tulikaa tu inakaa skeleton. Imeisha chini lakini huko chuo hakuna kitu. Lakini tukaenda na watoto wangu at least sasa tuko na amani. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wow, we are taking a break as we get to the last segment we hear how Pastor Lucy came out of that abusive marriage. Welcome back our viewers as we hear the last segment of Pastor Lucy's story. So mukahamia hiyo nyumba. Mukahamia hiyo nyumba. Mkapata mm, amani. At least sasa hiyo tuko na pizza. Hatuna eh? unajua sasa pesa yote inaenda kwa ile nyumba. Mm. Tunachekelewa na neighbor sababu wamejenga manyumba mazuri but at the end tulimaliza hiyo nyumba. Lakini sasa vita bado ikaanzia from nowhere. Wow. Mother in law hakujua mlihama wake okay. lalamika. Uh, Walileta shida neighbors hii wanaharibu mtoto wewe tu watu wakaongea. So ah uh, mimi hata sikujali at least uko na amani. Nakumbuka siku moja nilikongwa mafudu wakijenga. 
sijui niliongea na mafundi niligongwa nikaguka nika faint nikakaa kama one year siwezi si, ikaa hivi kwa kikiti sababu sensitivity ya ha panasikia tu naumia na huku kutoka bado si kutoka mimi sijui siko natoka nikiwa niki ninatoka ninaenda maombi hata by, by, by the way now aliadika divorce paper kasema huu ninamtupa ni sababu alikuwa shida yake ni kwenda kwa maombi kila saa na by the way hiyo ndio ilinisaidia kusimama ile marriage mm -hmm. kuna siku alichukua tile akanirushia sijui tumekozania na kuambia hata saa hii akikuja hapa ajui tulikuwa tunakozania nini from nowhere kadusha tile karibu nigonge hapa nikainama hivi ndilirarua zile nguo nilikuwa nazo nikaambia Mungu I want you to kill me if you cannot make me to come out of this marriage nikienda maombi nimesahau kusema nikienda maombi Mungu alikuwa ananiambia rudi hiyo ni nyumba yako kumbe nimepossess ile marriage siwezi kubali ati naweza toka na sijui kuoba another way siku moja nikasikia pastor akihubiri akasema there is still life after marriage badala ukufia pale ambia uh, oh, toka ikiwa unaona hakuna hope nikaanza kuoba Mungu si unaweza nitoa siku moja nilienda seventh day fasting Mungu akaniambia now it's over Siku mimi ile sauti nimeitafuta miaka nikiomba nilikuwa after how many years 20 years 20 years 20 years nikiomba naambia Mungu sasa sasa ile nilianza kuomba ati anitoe ni kama 5 years nitoe nitoe naambiwa ni kwako ni kwako na gongo na gongo anapigwa tena zaidi wazazi utaide kuzigumonya nilifujwa mkono nikaenda nyumbani na nitampikia chai na nitafanyia kila kitu nikaenda nyumbani kwetu hawana say mamangu hana say babangu hana say juu wao ndio analishwa na juu wao ndio analishwa na huyu na yeye ndiye kusema kwetu kila mtu the whole area wanamjua eh ile gari mnakuja na magari zile mnakuja nao kila muranga unaona eh watu wanatabua huyu huyu ametoka pahali pazuri eh ile harusi na tulifanya harusi by the way hapo katikati 205 tulifanya harusi ya church mimi siko nacheka wewe yako na furaha mimi nashindwa nini ninafanya mimi i know hapa hapo ndio nilianza kujua mimi natoka na nikajua mimi hii marriage is not working na hakuna siko anacheka watu wakilikuwa wananiuliza kwa nini wewe uchakangi huko unacheka kwa harusi kana nike uko taradheka najua hapana sasa hiyo watoto walikuwa wamezaliwa watoto wote wa, huyu mdogo walikuwa one year okay uh, last born na wengine hata walisimamia harusi yangu okay so uh siku hiyo nilikongwa nikaanguka after that period nilikaa kama one year but saida nilienda maombi nikatoka Mungu akaniambia now it's over na ukiendelea kukaa huku utauliwa na utakufa nimesahau kuna siku alikuwa ananiambia unajua mimi nitakuja kuoa na yule ninaoa hayuko bali unajua unapenda nyumba unapenda bwanako hujui ati unaweza toka wewe na unaona kama ni histo ni, ni, ni funny eh unaona kama anajua ni kama drama eh ananiambia mimi nitakuja kwa hata yule naoa hayuko bali aka tu hapa karibu naona tu ni mchezo kumbe kuna msichana aliweka nikiwa tu kwa hiyo nyumba akamweka akaanza kumlipia nyumba Mungu sahihi aliona huyu mfidara anafanya na vile na, naombanga akaniambia sasa utatoka na ukiendelea uki, kukaa hapa utauliwa na ukweli ningeuliwa so alienda kazi akafujika mguu nikaacha kazi sasa hiyo nimewekewa kazi town nika aka, nikaacha kazi yangu ile nilikuwa nimefanya akakuja nikaanza kuangalia bwanangu amefujika mguu sasa ni uanze kumpikia kufanya kila kitu na tunapiga na bado vita iko kwa nyumba wewe umchapi endi anakuchapa na hey, mia, unachapa ito. nani unasikia nilipelekwa polisi siku moja nimeacha mtoto nimeenda maombi nikafungiwa polisi kwa hivyo polisi siku anajua kwenda nini nikafungiwa polisi akahongana 5000 ni shida huko eh ati nimeacha mtoto wasikali wakaniambia wewe mama mjinga sana tunasikianga stories zako vile unateswa kwa hiyo na kwenu huwezi toka nikamwambia mimi I am a prayer of woman I know my god will change my husband and my my marriage will work sitoki okay. so, so ilifika wakati ya masaa ilifikaje sasa ndio ukatoka okay what a uh, Saida alitoka alifujika mguu ni nikimwangalia ndio kube yule msichana anaenda kumwangalia hospitali na mimi nakuja nikienda hospitali na tukano mpaka watu wanashidwa ni nini ndio aliamka siku moja usiku alitoka kwa mamake saa 5 usiku mamake unajua sasa kwa elia 
mm. alakuja na gari sasa hiyo na clutches akaniambia uambie babako babangu wako hai sasa hiyo acha kuniroka Saidi bwanangu amefujika mguu mtoto wangu naye amefujika ametoka shule wako na plaster wote wawili. Akaniambia uambie babako acha kuniroka yeye ndiye ananiroka aliroka wili akaroka sasa ameroka watoto wake wote wamefujika wale wamefujika naye amemroka. Nimwambia siroge je huyu last boy kama bi how babangu na sisi ndio tunamsaidianga ananiroka ndio nini I could not believe it. Ndio nikaanza kumuuliza hiyo ili niuma ili niuma sasa ile nilikuwa nataka anything can happen lakini nilikuwa nasikia nimesikia sauti sasa hii wakati umefika utoke nikamwambia you cannot akaniambia akachukua kiti ya dining akaniambia jaribu kuongea leo nitakuua if you defend nitoka nje ya gate nilirara nje ya gate so next day akakuja akaambia you last born yango wao watoto wengine sasa wako boarding akawarushia akanirushia guo zote from upstairs sikangushwa chini akaambia mtoto enda uambie mamako ako pale nje. Aende na siwai rudi huko. If you defend nitoka kwangu. Kaanza kulala huko kwa my brother chini. Sasa my sisters wote wakakuwa waka against me sababu nimetoka kwangu. Hawakuna mtu analielewa kile kile nilikuwa napitia. But nilihaso tu Mungu akanisaidia nikaanza kuuza CD nilikuwa ni mwibaji wa gospel nikahaso. Ah uh, until Mungu akaanza kunifungulia milango nikapada ndege nikaenda Katal nikakuwa driver huko God told me go back to Kenya and start my ministry you are minister of the gospel ile uh, akaniambia ile yote umepitia ilikuwa ni kujenge ndio uweze kuhubiri jina langu if you divine nilitoka Katal nikakuja Kenya nikaanza uh, group kwa sikuja kukuwa na group mambo ilikuwa inaitwa na kikuyu demoradhime literally ka change kaita blessed generation international ministry after kukaka mungu akaniambia enda Mombasa so Mombasa diko nimehubiri sana huko diko nime nime nimefanya nime kazi ya mungu zaidi huko diko nimebarikiwa zaidi watoto wangu na wao wakashindwa kukaa huko first and second so ile pain ilikuwa napitia nikiwa kwa ministry ni kuacha watoto sababu watoto niliacha mungu niambia usirudi nyuma sasa unajua unamlipia mpaka maid. Anaenda anahongana kila pahali maofisi zote anasema huyu aliacha na mimi sababu nilisikia Mungu nikaambia nikikaa huko utauliwa. Kwa hivyo na, naenda na, nalipia watoto wangu maid. But within three month alioa. Baada kutoka three month yule msichana alikuwa amemweka alimuoa. Mm-hmm. Zile vitu zangu zote kita, kila kitu niliacha huyo msichana hata hawakuchange. Sasa amekuja kuanza kukaa na watoto after one year akapata akapata kasiana huyo msana na akapendwa sana akapendwa sana so mimi baada ya kutoka i thank god sababu ile rejection nilisafa i don't suffer rejection my sister now if nilifote nilienda 40 days fasting sababu nilikuwa naandikwa kazi 3 days 3 weeks naacha 3 month hakuna unashindwa unachukiwa kwa nini but after First 40 days first Mungu akaniambia amenimalizia nime, rejection. Nowadays I tell people if you see me unichukie pasta if you uni, uniangalie hii level yetu uniangalie unichukie uko na mapepo and I have experienced it. <laughs> Ni kitu nimeona. Mimi napendekaga na kila kitu na kila mtu. Amen. Na ile rejection imesafa ni miaka na kuchukiwa na watu wenu. Mimi ni mamangu na babangu tu walinipenda. So niambie kabla tujamaliza mm. sasa watoto wako na mzee okay. na ameoa wameoa. Are you reunited ama bado wako na baba yake? Okay watoto first born na second born wa, 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 wa walikuwa college mm. wamesoma amewasomeza hana shida lakini walisema mimi mom hatutaweza kukaa huko. Last year my dad pa, uh, went, went on akakufa went on, yani akakufa Bwanangu na unasikia eh, vile babangu amemsaidia na ame, um, alikuwa anampenda kama mpaka wengine wanasikia nini vibaya hakuenda mazishi. Hata ha, kipigwa simu hakuwa namchukulia. So akapas my mom akapas uh, baadaye. Sasa ikile kiliniuma ni watoto kuwanyima mpaka gari ya kwenda na sasa hiyo kulikuwa na shida ya gari. Sasa watoto wakasema ikiwa dad sahi hatakagi kutuona sababu 
alioa hata kumuomba tu gari twende nyumbani pipi atuta tutakaa huko so wakaamua tutaka tukaanza kukaa nao hakurudi hiyo nyumba tena lakini lastborn ako shule bado anaendelea na shule okay yeah. so huwa mnaongea watoto uh, na, na bwana no Mm. I'm expecting to to, to be divorced any time from now. <laughs> eh makaratasi imekuja by the way nimeretewa. Mm. God told me go let, let it go ahead because you never go back to that house. Yes. Once you'll be there, you'll go there. He will kill you. This true. Yes, he Na will kill you. Na huyu mwingine Wow. Hamchapi? Wow. Although mimi sifuatili kwenda kutaka kujua vita wanaka mm. but funny enough Unajua mimi siku sana msichana, mm-hmm. siari sana msichana. Mm-hmm. Na alikuwa anataka msichana, alizaa mama yake. Yeah. So I have no say. Yeah. Eh, mimi sinanga say huko hata siwezi sieleweki nini nini, mm-hmm. but we are happy with my children now. So how long have you been separated with him? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Na uliski kurudi huko. Hata siwezi yota. Hata uwezi yota. Yeah. Yeah. But ninakumbuka kuna siku nilishikwa na depression baada ya kutoka. Nilienda huko. Eh? Pasta he kabra Mungu akutengeneze unakuwa ngo amepitishiwa mm. Niri, niliwakuta wote hapo kwa gate sasa ni baada kutoka mazizi ninataka kuona mtoto wangu last mm. born ule mama anatoka kwa gate kunitukana he nikamuliza unajua hii hii mali yote unakulia ni mimi nimelimia mm. eh nilichukua mawe nikaanza kuwarushia na wao wakanidushia mpapelekwa police ndio Mungu akaniambia nilikwambia uache kila kitu unitumikie uniangalie au provide au give you and the, the thing i have now i can say that i have peace wow. the paramount in my life is peace and i have it now Amen. yes wow. i have peace Amen. yeah wow what a story from a gorgeous woman i um, 20 years is a long time but we thank god that now she's talking when she's already out of an abusive marriage and we pray that god will help you in case you're in an abusive marriage and you're keeping hoping that the man will change sometimes it is us who change it's not the people we are trying to yeah. change because yeah. there is nothing you can do to make somebody love you and take you and receive you unconditionally thank you for watching god bless you